Let's talk about Funko. Interview Sarah Jabbery, aka Glitch Bitch. So we're here today at PowerCon. This is Let's Talk About Funko. And we're here today with Glitch Bitch. Hi, I'm Glitch Bitch, also Sarah Jabari. So um, let's just talk about the name, first of all, <laughs> because we just have to get that out of the way. <laughs> yeah, the name, uh, you know, it's funny because it was just something that my friend and I, to kind of go back a little bit, uh, Glitch Bitch started with a really good friend of mine. Uh, his name is Stephen Cholton. He goes by Jam. Uh, so he might be mad that I said his real name. Sorry, oh, Jam. <laughs> just rip that off. It's just Jam. But he's a really good friend of mine. We started this together to sort of have an outlet for our work. We're both uh, working designers. So, you know, kind of being in-house designers or at agencies or working for clients, we're constantly making for others, okay. which is fun. There's great stuff in that, too. But as artists, I think we all know that, you know, some clients can be a little bit of a nightmare and they could... <laughs> you know, start one way and you're excited, then a project will kind of go in a different direction, and then you so you sort of lose ownership in a sense. So Glitch Bitch was, what I like to say is like the diary to the world, okay. you know? I'm kind of like, dear Glitch Bitch, these are all my feelings, here's a derpy burger, I don't know, here I am. Uh, so when we first started it, or like the notion of it, we were running around a Bushwick um, Open Studios. Okay. Um, if you're familiar, it's, you know, it's just like all these studios in Bushwick open up their doors, you walk around, you see art, it's dope. Uh, and we were just like, this is cool, this is cool, whatever. For some reason, I don't know why, if this was a theme, there was a lot of like glitchy stuff, like just, it was like paintings, photography, there was stuff that was just like, something was happening where it looked glitched out. It was a theme. Yeah, and we were just like, we were just walking around and we were like, this is so glitchy, like, I don't know. And then one of us, I can't remember if it was him or me, it was like, oh, it's like glitching and bitching, glitch bitch, whatever. And we were just like, it rhymes, it's funny. And then we kind of very much half joking, we're like, what if we started a brand called Glitch Bitch? Um, and then we looked at each other like, wait, like, Boom. yeah, why not? Uh, let's do this thing. Let's we'll start out with pins and see what happens. How and long ago was that? This was 2016. Okay. Uh, right. I, I think it was October or November or maybe even earlier. I can't remember when the when the Bushwick Open Studios were, but we started really talking about it then. Then we started building out like the brand uh, designs, like started kind of workshopping like the website, what you know, all these outlets, how we'd sell, whatever. Uh, really finished everything uh, somewhere between between December to January and then February on to like March, April was like getting together photo shoots, getting together friends, and then we fully launched in May uh, all the social media, everything. We're just like, here it is. Uh, and at the beginning, we sort of thought, you know, for whatever it is, it can just be an awesome project. So even if it died as soon as it started, we were just happy. I think that's when we met her, right? yeah. About three years ago, maybe? Yeah. Or, or two? Just at the beginning. Uh, it's in patches <laughs> at the yeah, very beginning. Patches, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, uh, that was one of my first big expo convention mm -hmm. things. Um, and it was really nice to go to because I think that community uh, is they're going for that stuff. Yeah, like they yeah, want yeah. it. It's so niche and it's so nice that fandom behind it is real. So that was something that really encouraged me and us in general to keep going. Um, since 2017, uh, he had to focus on his own projects. He's from the UK. Um, so we were communicating across, you know, like video chat, phone, text, whatever. Um, so after a while, you know, he, he was, he's much more senior in terms of like level than I am, not in age. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna be like, what are you doing? Uh, no, he's dope. Uh, so he was focusing on his own projects, his own work. Uh, he's got so much cool stuff going on. And he just said, you know, like, if you want to continue, take our baby, do it up. And I'm like, yes, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I just didn't, it didn't feel right to just let it be. Like, yeah. it felt like it was, developing and building traction everything i do with it just kind of goes right back into it yeah. you know so it just continues to grow and build and again it's just my diary so That's whatever awesome. happens it's i'm like awesome yeah whatever yeah, happens is like i get to like open up to the yeah. world and people either listen or they don't but you know i think the people who do listen feel something I don't know. <laughs> and um, how did the community embrace you because i know there's different you know, there's different genres out here. There's different everything. How did the community accept you? I think they accepted me pretty well. I mean, at the beginning, it's definitely, 
What's nice, I think, sorry to backtrack, what's nice is it doesn't feel like there's a lot of levels when people are coming to your booth. Like, you know, there's definitely, there's bigger booths, there's bigger brands, you can see it, you can feel it, whatever. Um, they've got the followers. But when somebody's at your table buying or interested or something speaks out to them, yeah. it's, they don't really care. Like, they don't care if you've just opened your doors. They don't care how long you've been around. They don't care about your following. Like, it, they're just like, oh my God, that's cool. I don't know. It speaks to it me. Catches my eye. So <laughs> yeah, and having those moments, like, I just it always, I always just feel just a little bit better, just that much more accepted. Because you know, you're putting yourself out there. I think any artist is putting themselves out there, putting their work out there. There's this fear of like, will it be accepted? Will they get it? Will they not? Am I just speaking into the ether of nothing? Um, so every moment like that was just like, this is worth it. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know what levels I'll continue climbing with, but I always felt accepted. Um, and I think now that I've been doing it for like like three years or so, um, there are people that are like, oh, like I want to get another one from your collection. Or like, oh, hey, I've seen that on Instagram. And hearing that, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, it's you like, following, so. yeah, yeah. You know, and it's a, it's a really fun group of people and they'll, they're will they there, you know, if I ask them something on Instagram, like if I'm choosing between colors or if I'm even just sketching something, I'm like, hey, would you buy this? You know, they're like, they'll answer, they're there, uh, they're active and it's fun to kind of like develop that. I think shows like this, small shows like this, that don't, you know, they might have one or two big brands, but I think shows like this is more, to me, I like it a little bit more because it's more creativity and when you have like a big, a big show and big people, they don't take that time. Yeah. Like you, when I when I met you the first time, you took your time. We talked for a little bit. We came back about a couple of things, but it's more genuine when it's a small community. Yeah, totally. It is. Hundred percent. I think that, I like that conversation this. is so yeah. important too. Yeah, it is. Like I get to pick your brain, see like what you're interested in. You get to understand more of why I'm doing whatever I'm doing and. The conventions just, it just perpetuates that inspiration, that community, that everything. I think it's like, and then you see each other again. You're like, what's up, dude? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is true. That is true. It's like, a, it's like a little camp of people, you know? And you started with art, not really pins. It was mainly art. Then you yeah. worked your way to pins. And you still actually have your art prints yeah. and everything over here. Yeah, this um, is, so I have some prints from college. Okay. <laughs> Because, you know, they were they were at home, and I was proud of what I did. It was my senior year stuff. I yeah. made some movie posters. Um, so, I, you know, I, it's cool to be able to dig it up and be like, I can have it be like a collaboration type situation. Definitely. I made this art. And sometimes I still make art that might not feel like it fits the the branding of Glitch Bitch or like how it would fit in the world of Glitch Bitch. But it can, I can easily be like, it's a collaboration, whatever. Like, I, you know, it's my rules. Like, I made yeah. them, and that's... That's the other thing, and that's the whole point of why it was born. It was literally to stick it to the client man. You know, like, you have your vision, yeah. you think you want your thing a certain way, cool, that's why you've hired me, but now this is my thing, and I want it a certain way, so. It's <laughs> pretty cool that you actually, like, if you like something, you put it out there and you find out somebody else likes it, it's like, yeah. what? So it's like, if you have an inspiration based on a show or movie, yeah. you're doing it. And then like see somebody else is like wow. Yeah. Is there inspiration behind the pins or that's the same thing as the well? The pins, so when it comes to Glitch Bitch, I try to uh, I try to avoid too much of like a direct pop culture okay. or uh, like I, I think if I am inspired by a show or movie or music or anything like that, it's it's a lot more of a stretch. Like okay. I don't want people to be able to really get there on their that own, you know yes. what I mean? Like I have some things like my pen blade is you know it's like a combination of you know swords yes. i love there's a lot of things i love that are related to swords i've always been somebody that's like a fan of like game of thrones whatever things like that um video games in general uh, like i play kingdom hearts and yeah. the name of it itself like pen blade it's like kind of like the keyblade but it doesn't look like the keyblade so there's things that i'm like swimming around in my head and I love Art Deco so the detailing on it is yeah. very much based on that. My personal branding has a lot of Art Deco in it. So it's kind of, I think every little thing I try to do, it's some weird mashup of a lot of different like, sometimes it's simple, like my my uh, mixed tasty is just a burger. It's just a derpy burger. There's <laughs> really, yeah. all, I just yeah. love burgers. Yeah, my, my ghosts are just yeah. derpy ghosts. Like, yeah. Some of them are very just, you know, that's what she they are. She has glow-in-the-dark ones, too. I have glow-in-the-dark ones now because <laughs> they was the obvious next yeah. move. Um, 
But yeah, no, it's, uh, I think the, some, and then some of them do have a little stronger meaning. Like I have my, my nasty bites back and you know, that was the whole nasty woman movement. Oh, is that um, this one, this, this one right here? This is actually Van Pisa. So this one, yeah, this one's definitely one of my favorites. Again, it's just kind of food related and like, yeah. you know, I like, I like lips. Like I'm, I'm a lesbian, so I do love a good pair of female lips. Um, or, you know, like non-binary queer lips whatever you want to go for i'm a fan um so and pizza <laughs> yeah, all we all of love, the, yeah yeah i know we, we just have pizza. Pizza. <laughs> and who doesn't love some like you know some nice voluptuous lips of course. um so it was just an easy combination <laughs> and my friend jam uh the uh co-founder uh, he thought of the name, he was like Van Pisa, and I was like, all right, well, <laughs> like, you're making her like, we'll just drop the mic on that one, that was great. Uh, he was always really good of copy, um, but now my girlfriend does a lot of the copy, and she's dope with it, so she'll do like a lot of the fun little product information stuff, uh, and it's oh, really cool. funny, it's really, it's really cheeky. <laughs> so what's the next show you're going to be at? So the next show I have planned, um, right now, Five Points Fest is the next one that is official. Um, and that's here. And that's here. It's actually, is that the, unless they've changed it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I want to do patches and pins again. Uh, they 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 have an April one every year. Uh, so uh, just waiting for that application to come out. So technically that will be first. Um, and then I do uh, a lot of other little. Oh my god, I totally forgot. Um, I do a lot of other little ones. They're not really conventions. I just go to them. Yeah. Uh, so Hot Rabbit is a LGBTQ plus party. Um, I DJ with them. I, uh, I, I, I'm a you know customer, consumer, party goer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they're amazing. They throw these uh, queer parties all over the city. Uh, and aside from like DJing and like going and just enjoying all of their dancers and DJs, uh, I've, I've vended there before, and I love vending there because it's usually just me and like a couple other people, very low key. And you just hang out with like you know, it's a lot of friends of mine too. So I just get to hang out, drink, sell. Um, so I do that like all the time. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely yeah. So, um, how can people actually reach you? Uh, people can reach me uh, through my Instagram at We Are Glitch Bitch uh, without the eyes, just G L T C H B T C H. Somebody took the other one, okay. <laughs> um, which is okay. Uh, yeah, you can reach me through Instagram, and it's the same handle for Facebook, Twitter. Uh, you can go to my site or my Etsy. You can reach me through oh, there. Yeah, Etsy too. I have Etsy. Yeah, um, that's. Uh, I wish I did Etsy earlier, honestly. Um, they're they're great in a lot of ways. I think there's a really good community aspect of it yeah, that's, okay. that's helpful. Um, but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm on all the stuff. And then feel free to DM uh, however way. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. to have you again. And thank you so much for coming yeah, on. Of course. Thank you guys so thank much you. for being interested, talking to me, Always. being a friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to meet you today. Yes. So it's been a good time all around. <laughs> so we yeah, definitely come and visit her and uh, enjoy. Take care. Yeah. Peace. Would love to hang out. Thank you.